You're watching Sky News. Good news, viewers. Mark Latham won't be cooking on the show tonight. Please welcome back your host, Dr. Evil. Well, it's taken a long time, but here I am. There is no co, by the way. I think he's poisoned himself trying to feed himself tonight. He's got the bucket out. But I've got... Where's Mark? Poisoned? Oh, no. It was a salmon. I've cooked up uh, salmon yes. with a base of uh, boiled rice, the broccolini, and on top are some caramelised onions. Could be bad. I've tried that dish. Oh, oh, that is fucking disgusting. <laughs> I was worried about Mark's suspected poisoning, but I had a feeling Biff would be back. Sky News has ended the contract of contributor Mark Latham. What? Fired? Sweet Fanny Adams! Sky News has sacked Mark Latham. Mark Latham is uh, out. Sky News said enough was enough. How's he going to live? I mean, he's only got his former opposition leader's golden handshake of $79,000 a year from the taxpayer. That's not enough for good quality salmon. Sadly, the left-wing PC brigade had claimed yet another victim. In this case, a humble home cook, simply known as Biff. I had some uh, baked snapper, pork stew with Asian greens, a breakfast tart, yeah. filo pastry. It's as simple as cooking up your penne pasta and then you slice up a kilo of pork, make it as lean as possible. Five egg yolks, a uh, tub of cream, whipped cream, no, sorry, cooking cream, ginger grated up, uh, garlic, pepper, the star anise, the stock, yeah. the soy sauce. That comes in on top and it's a beautiful, beautiful, fresh dish. I uh, highly recommend it, of course, with the, uh, the steamed rice. 